Hi everyone, so I've literally just woken up, I've done my normal skincare routine which I'll pop the link to below because I have done a video on that so you can see what products I've already got on my face but it's nothing too crazy, really really simple and I thought today I'd do sort of the first of a series of everyday makeup looks and this one is going to be the most like bog basic, as low as it gets, this is kind of just the base that I do if I'm really really in a rush have to get like my makeup on super super quickly so there's no eyeshadow here, I don't do anything with my eyebrows, there's no crazy cheap products going on, it's just really simple and very kind of natural looking I think. So I'm going to get started, I'm going to pop my hair up first because I just cannot stand my hair being in my face when I do this kind of thing. And I'm going to get on with the foundation that I use most days really and it is the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau foundation and this is shade 2 because I'm not really very tanned at the moment. You can see my neck is more tan than my face and that's because I exfoliate my face every day basically so the tan goes off my face a lot quicker. I've just pumped like one and a half pumps onto the top of a Sigma F80 flat top synthetic kabuki brush and then I just pop it on both my cheeks, my chin, my nose kind of dot it in, like that. So it's just kind of dotting it all over the face, sort of stippling it in, over the eyes as well, because I'm not going to do anything on the eyes. And then when it's all sort of stippled in, just sort of use circular motions, make sure you bring some down onto the neck. I have done a review on this foundation, I'll pop the link to that below because it is just my favourite foundation of all time. You can just see it's evened out my skin like straight away. Sometimes I will just put this on my face, a bit of mascara and that's kind of me good to go. And sometimes I even forget to put on concealer with this foundation which is always the sign of a good foundation I think. Okay so that's just evened my skin out and I've kind of buffed it in. There's no sort of visible patches, it's really all blended. Lovely. Then I go for my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer and this is the colour Sand. And I pop in my 224 brush, my MAC 224 brush, kind of get a bit of product on the end, like that. And I just sort of dab that under the eye in a sort of similar motion to what I used with the Sigma Kabuki brush sort of patting it in and then using circular motions. Oh, brush hair. Same on this side. I always bring it over the sort of bridge of the nose as well because that sometimes gets a bit dark. And then I sometimes take some just around the nose as well because I've got a few sort of bit of redness around there. Like that. And also just on the end of the nose. I mainly have redness in like the centre of my face so that's where I just pop a bit of concealer just to get rid of that sort of extra bit of redness which hasn't been covered by the foundation. Then I take my trusty MAC 150 brush, which is just a big powder brush, and my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and this is the shade Medium Plus, which is my summer shade. And I do a real light sort of dusting of this, just over the forehead quickly, down the centre of the nose, top lip, chin, bit down the neck and then I do just take a tiny bit over the cheeks as well okay so that's kind of it for base products then I go through my eyebrows and this is just the Rimmel Professional eyebrow pencil and it has a little kind of comb on the end and I just comb through my eyebrows just to kind of get them in place and take out any foundation that's got in them or powder, that kind of thing. But 
on a day to day basis I've kind of grown them so much now that I don't really need to put anything through them. Sometimes if I'm going on a night out and especially if I'm wearing false eyelashes I feel like you kind of need that sort of balance so you do need a bit, bit more of an eyebrow but just for every day. My eyebrows are pretty big so it's not like I particularly need to pencil them in. Then I just curl my eyelashes and for that I use my Shure Mirror Eyelash Curler and I'm not going to get too close for this because it's not a particularly nice thing to watch somebody do but I just take it at the base, sort of pump it down and then sort of turn it up like that. Okay then for the mascara I use my L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof one which I use so much the writing has completely gone off it but I absolutely love it and I think that if you struggle to get curl and keep curl in your eyelashes then go for waterproof mascaras because I always find that they keep a curl in my lashes after my Shure Mirror eyelash curlers. It's kind of the perfect combination for me and I just wiggle that through the lashes. Okay so that is my mascara done. I don't know if you can really see that, but if I've got like really plain makeup then I really like to go to town on mascara, so that's probably about three layers on there. Um, then I normally go and finish the rest of my face, and for that I'm going to use my Sleek Face Contour Kit, and this is the light one, and I'm going to take the darkest colour in there, pop a bit on a MAC 109 brush and just try and contour my face slightly. So turn my face to the side, make like a sucky, fishy face, and then sort of go into the contours on my face, so. And then on the other side. And I pop some around the temples as well. And under the chin. Okay, then I'm going to use a highlighter. And for that I'm going to use my Dior Amber Diamond highlighting powder, which I absolutely love. And I'm going to use that on a MAC 1, 183 brush, I think. Just like a mini kind of duo fibre. Take that all over the product and just pop that on the tops of my cheeks like that. Just add a bit of glow. Love this product, it's just so gorgeous. It just adds the nice, really nice kind of subtle glow, like nothing too crazy. I find that although the Sleek Face Contour Kit comes with a highlighter, which is that one there, it's just too stark in your face kind of thing, but this is just so subtle. And especially with this brush, you can really sort of just put a nice light sort of coating on the tops of your cheeks. So that is that, I'm just gonna pop on some lipstick and this is the lipstick that I've been going for sort of every day recently and it is MAC Shy Girl which looks like that. A really pretty sort of peach, peachy nude sort of colour, I'm nearly at the end of it actually, it's so nice. It's a cream sheen formula as well which is my favourite. And then I just pop um, some MAC Fix Plus all over the top, so I just close my eyes. And that just sort of sets it and freshens it up a bit, makes it sort of gel with the skin. I take my hair down so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so that is my everyday bog basics or standard look this is what I go to if I'm in a rush so hopefully you've enjoyed this I'm going to try and like edit this and be a bit fancy so hopefully that all works out and then um, I will see you guys soon thank you for watching bye